It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna take you inside a practice product photography shoot. Um, this is with some EDC gear I picked up, the Kershaw filter and a Timex uh, 40 millimeter standard leather watch. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you the six principles that I use to get great product photos every time. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, uh, first product photo is going to be the Kershaw filter knife. And uh, I picked this up on somebody's recommendation off of Instagram. It's a great knife. It's um, very inexpensive. It's clean looking, um, not a lot of or ornamentation. And I wanted to showcase this on my Instagram uh, because I'm getting into EDC gear and I thought it'd be cool to try to take a shot of this. All right, so what are the six approaches that I use when thinking of a product photo? Subject, illumination, lines, the background, the audience, and the mood I'm trying to create, which is all part of the story I'm trying to tell. So the subject, we have the Kershaw filter, nice, clean, rugged, harsh looking. Um, and then the illumination, I want a harsh, clean light to draw attention to the design, the lines. I didn't want soft light or misty or foggy light um, because I want to match the subject with, with the type of lighting. And then the lines, you have these very direct clean lines. And so you can have this object oriented towards the camera, away from the camera, parallel to the camera. So I was thinking about those lines and how I could maximize those. The background, I wanted super clean, um, no distractions. I found that when I tried to introduce other objects, it would kind of clutter up the design. This doesn't have a lot of um, pizzazz to it. And so anything else seemed to kind of take away from it. So I kept it super clean. I used a stainless steel table that I use uh, for some of my uh, cocktail photography shots. You might have seen that on Instagram as well. And um, the audience is Instagram, but it could also be knife lovers. I use some hashtags for the EDC community. And so um, I wanted something that they would stop while they're scrolling on Instagram. Something that would be surprising, a lot of contrast, very sharp uh, and um, then the mood, I was trying to evoke a sense of awe and wonder. And you can see that I actually chose to do this by playing on a sense of balance or implied motion or tension by positioning the knife straight down into the stainless steel table. And then of course I had my finger on the top of it and I removed that in Photoshop. But uh, here's a look at that photo. My camera settings were, I was at F8. Uh, shutter speed was 1 over 50 and ISO was 1250. Now I introduced a blue light to light the front of the, the knife um, because with that harsh, uh, the SL, the Godox SL60 from the back, um, I need some light. So I actually picked a color light. I thought the blue complemented the kind of cold look of the, the metal. So there you go. There's the rundown on that. All right, so for product photo number two, it's the Timex that I was telling you about earlier in the introduction. And so this watch is great. Um, I haven't bought a watch in years, and so I picked out one that was not too expensive. Um, but let's think about those six tips. The subject is the watch, so we wanna draw attention to that. And so um, it has some nice warm colors in the, the leather and the gold metal. And so um, I like the warmth and the richness that I get off of the subject. The second thing is the illumination. Now I wanted a lot of kind of bokeh and kind of a luxurious look, so really soft lighting and kind of top down is what I was thinking for this. The lines, we have a circle here. If you have the watch like this, you can have another circle, you can lay it out in a line. I felt the line was too rigid and too non-organic, I guess. Um, so I chose a close up of the, the watch face, that circle. So that's the dominant shape or dominant line in the photo. Now the background, the background, I tried to get like kind of an after hours feel. Um, but I found that the closer I got to the watch, the better I felt about the composition. So I just have some images that are um, very blurry and the bokeh kind of just insinuates sort of an organic uh, background. But it's really a stainless steel table and a, um, a bag that I got. And it's actually, um, the watch is actually sitting kind of over right next to one of these, uh, these clasps here on this bespoke post uh, weekender bag that I got. And so, um, so you can't really tell what that is, but there are some lines in the background that I use as leading lines. All right, so the audience. The audience is watch lovers and Instagram, so I'm trying to get an image that pops, that gets people's attention. 
And the mood, I'm trying to set a mood of um, kind of value and relaxation and kind of like a, a day of hard work, um, rest well earned, and sort of that time off. I, I always think a, a watch or the clock symbolizes time and choices that we make. Um, but I kind of wanted it to look like just taking off after a hard day's work. So let's see that picture that is F8. Shutter speed is 1 through 20 and the ISO is again 1250. Um, so those are my choices there and was pretty happy with these. These six tips can really help you nail a um, product photo. So you have subject, illumination and lines, background, audience and mood. If you keep all those in mind, you'll get a nice well balanced shot that that really makes an impact with their audience and that's what you're looking for. All right, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you liked any part of this video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Tell me a product photo that you've done. What do you enjoy shooting? The EDC gear, I'm kind of new to and I'm enjoying it. So the knife and the watch, I actually bought a wallet. I just wasn't crazy about the photo I got of it, but I'll put up a, a really quick sample of that so you can see that. Shout out to Greyhame Leatherworks who suggested the Kershaw filter and from whom I bought the, the wallet. He makes great stuff. I'm very happy with the wallet. Just haven't got that perfect shot of it that I want to share on my Instagram yet. But uh, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, so um, with all of the things that have been going on in the news lately, I thought about how to use my YouTube um, to make a difference, to contribute something good. So I've been interviewing um, black photographers and black creators that are friends of mine that I've worked with and I'm gonna be sharing some of their interviews here on the channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you might get snippets of that ahead of time as I put it together. But here's a clip from my friend, Will. Purchase or whatever like that. I'm like, see mom, we could, you know, buy it and then when it goes lower, we can, and I was just so sold on having a camera, she's like, we can't afford it. So uh, that was in the fourth grade. My very first purchase of a camera when I was, when I was, when I was 19, but it stayed with me and the hunger to want, well, why can't I have it? Why, why, why can't I have this thing that I want so bad? Is it money? Because I can save up for that eventually and the fire built that young. I remember, I was eight years old, never forget. And so I wanted to introduce Will Utley, my friend, What Life on Instagram, check him out. All right, thank you for joining me. I hope you stick around, subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave a comment below, peace. <laughs> Inside a practice, a practice, inside a practice photography tips that I use to get. Um, thank you for check, check, check.